What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope we're having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an exclusive Gcam 7 from Pixel 4 on our Android phones. So again over here, this is a port from a Google Pixel 4. And then again, if you're wondering where did this APK come from? Because Google Pixel 4 hasn't actually released yet that I'm recording this video. It would be, I guess, around September 20 or 18. But some guys in Vietnam apparently already got their hands on Pixel 4 and they pretty much just licked everything from the new Google Assistant to the newer Gcam. And they have already uploaded all the dump for it. So again, we have pretty much everything like the developer builds from the Pixel 4. So again, over here, as you can see, I have got it running on my Redmi Note 4 and the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And probably I didn't even knew before this that Pixel 4s are available in Vietnam. So I guess they just thought that it has a Play Store. It's not from our tribe. Let's just fucking lick it. So that's why we do have a APK right over here. It's working on my both of the phones. Well, the compatibility over here is very limited. Like this is just first builds and I'm just going to show you guys how the UI and everything looks. I'm not just going to compare any kind of pics or shots cause even the Pixel 4 is not ready yet for that. So again over here, we are just taking a look at the UI. So again, launching both of the cams right over here. As you can see, a complete new UI. Well, not completely, but few things are realigned. And again, if you notice over here, that massive notch on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Also, it has curves, which is also present on the Redmi Note 4, as you can see, which is a bit weird that they have actually embedded this into the camera app. Like this is really weird. This is not just part of the UI, it's inside the camera. So again, it looks much more cleaner. Again, you can see the switchable tabs are now at the bottom, which is again, much more beautiful cause in Pixel 4, you get a massive notch, like almost a centimeter of notch and pretty much nothing on the bottom, just like a Mi Mix 2, but inverted. So that's why you have the shutter button in the middle cause you can't actually reach it this bottom. If the phone is too tall, it will just flip. So that's a very neat thought by the Google team. But again, over here, as I told you before, the compatibility is very limited. For example, the video mode works on the Redmi Note 4, just completely crashes on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, but the portrait mode works completely. Over here, portrait mode just freezes. Again, it works on the front camera, so no issues at all over there. But again, the compatibility is very limited. This is like the first developer builds of the Gcam. So we will just take a look at on the Redmi Note 4 cause apparently it just works much more stable on this thing. So again, let's just flip the camera back. And then again, we have this UI. So again, the buttons over here are very separated, which is a bit weird that the phone is already very massive. So you kind of have to stretch your thumb if you want to switch the cameras. There is no gestures like Samsung. It just opens up the settings. So again, these are the easier toggles that you used to get above over there. But as the phone is now extremely tall, they have just removed it, which is a bit weird. I think the earlier ones were much more better, but I guess this is the same look as of the iOS 13 on the iPhone 11 Pro. So again, bit of a copying going over there. Again, the zoom in and stuff is pretty much the same. You do get a very nice slider for it. Then again, you have gallery, portrait mode, night set is now directly right over here, just like the Pixel 3a. Again, works completely over here again processes and everything then again you have video now again as this is one of the first builds only 4k 30 fps and 720p 30s is working over here cause 1080p just completely crashes on almost all of the phones so again if you're recording on the front camera if your phone doesn't support 4k recording on the front camera like redmi note 7 pro you're only left out with the 720p as if yet so again directly going to the mode you do have time lapse slow motion which pretty much will crash the app of course time lapse should actually work yep so again, going back, you have a complete video recording working over here. Also, there are no additional effects or anything which were rumored thanks to AR Core, but nothing as if yet. So I guess if you install AR Core or just wait for the official launch, we do get something over here. But if you now go to the more photosphere, panorama, lens, pretty much everything as before, nothing new over here. So directly going to the camera, hopping onto the settings, you do get HDR toggles, raw JPEG toggles, Apparently, if you're a pro photographer, that would be necessary, but there is still no manual camera. Like you don't have manual focus, manual peaking, neither manual ISO. That's really weird. And although Gcam supports this, there is still no news about it. For the timer, you have three and 10 seconds, no five seconds right over here. I mean, they could expand it till here. Still, you have flash and ratio, which is again weird, but you can quickly switch between four by three and 16 by nine. Okay, 16 by nine. Again, looks very cool on the Redmi Note 4 being a 16 by 9 aspect ratio phone. And then if you want advanced things, you can directly jump in right over here. Now, this is a bit modded version of a Gcam, which has more fixes. Like pretty much this version of the APK is meant to run on almost all the newer Qualcomm devices, but still it runs on pretty much a four year old Qualcomm chip. So again, you are pretty much good to go. So again, you have contact us. This is just for the developer feedback things like we are hiring, find a bug, mailing list but it says dog food only, which is a bit weird. If you first time set up this camera, it will say a bunch of things like dog food setup or everything. 
I guess the code name of the Pixel 4 would be around that, I don't know, but there is camera coaching which is again a very new feature, there is no more info about it but I guess it's similar to the iPhone 11 where it uses the neural processors. Well, if Pixel 4 actually used the 855 plus that was quite helpful but for normal 855 I think barely does anything. But you have Google suggestions, gestures which are pretty much the same, nothing new over here, advanced, you know here you can pretty much toggle all the things which you see outside. And then mod settings which are basically portrait mode fix which doesn't actually work on the Redmi Note 4, helps on the Note 7 Pro, disable hexagon cause if you don't disable this, you will get a bunch of errors right over here, again portrait mode fix, pretty easy. Then again going back you have camera photo resolution, now it doesn't say low medium or anything or how much process it does cut down but you still get full resolution and medium. Again pretty great option cause pretty much now everything gets just backed up to the Google Photos as you get almost unlimited to 1 TV storage with the Pixel series. But then again going down you have 4K 30 and 720p on the front camera for my Note 4. Again video stabilization is actually working and then you also have developer settings so you can actually search around over here for the newer features or if your phone does actually support like for example 60fps options then again OIS and everything if your cam does actually support it you can actually toggle them right over here and yeah guys that's pretty much it for the first look of the Pixel 4 G cam I hope you guys enjoyed again links in the description and if you want to try this it's pretty much easy install the APK as normally and if the camera still doesn't work I will leave a link in the description for a Magix module you have to just go to modules Again, as you can see, I have already added it, add the modules, just flash it like a normal one, reboot, and the Gcam should be working for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.